All right, today is an exciting day for me. Um, I love electronics. So today we're putting on our new solar panels. Leveled it up to where it's gonna be. That's gonna go on there. Like, come on, man. Like, does it have to happen in a spot where I use my hand repetitively? All right, today is an exciting day for me. Um, I love electronics. So today we're putting on our new solar panels. Since we're gonna leave our solar panels that we put on the van um, for our sun to use, um, we just saved up a little bit of extra money and bought us a new array. So it's all sitting right here. We got all this. What we did was we kept the same array that we used before. I bought the exact same thing because it worked so great. Um, we really didn't have any power issues and with the new wind generator, uh, act that actually works the way that it's supposed to we should be good to go so yeah i'm gonna be putting this together and i got a little bit smart this time instead of how we did in the previous video where we where i had put the whole thing together and then we tried to muscle it up there and then drill the holes and all this and that what i learned from that is is that this time i do it just go ahead and put a panel on bolt it bolt up the brackets and then I can just bolt the rest of the brackets on and just kind of go down the line instead of putting it all together, then trying to muscle it up there, then try, because it was just too much of a pain in the butt. And even with two people, it was heavy, it was bulky, it was awkward, and we almost a couple times had to like worry about dropping a solar panel. So hopefully this time I'll be able to avoid from doing that. And yeah, I'm just gonna get to it. One of the things I did last time was I drilled and tapped holes and then drilled them through the metal the aluminum brackets said i just bought at lowe's some angle iron and um just drilled it and then tapped it and screwed it in this time i'm actually going to and this is upside down because it's only just holding it in place it's going to go upside down the way that it's supposed to and then i'll use these u-bolts to hold them in so it will be a lot more solid than what it was before so we don't have to worry about um I don't know it just it was i didn't like the way i did it last time i mean it worked but this way is way more secure and i just don't have to worry about it plus i can move them back a little bit because with this way i can actually move them back a little bit so that when i'm getting in and out i'm not constantly hitting my watch and worried about hitting my shoulders on the solar panels so or this little corner which i'm also going to grind down and shave down that corner so that it's more rounded this time. So just lessons learned, you know, the second time you do something is always easier. So hopefully there's not too many things that I have to do twice, but <laughs> now that I actually have the luxury of doing this one twice, I'm gonna go ahead and just knock it out. So, all right, let's get this done. All right, so I built my first bracket, got it all bolted in, and then um, had my holes already drilled, leveled it up to where it's gonna be. That's going to go on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of the pieces so that I can put it the rest of the way across.
All right, as typical Florida goes, here we go. We are just getting ready to um, pull the wire and get the charge controller hooked up. And um, yeah, it starts to rain. So at least we got all that put in. It doesn't look like it's gonna last too long, so I still may be able to get some work done inside, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna keep going at it until I can, um, cause I don't feel if I stop every time it rained in Florida and stop for the day, then I would probably not get anything done. I would work about 30 minutes a day. So, <laughs> all right, maybe four hours a day, but that's it. You work half days at best. And then I'm um, just kind of wait till the rain passes and it's usually Florida So it's usually three to five somewhere. It's gonna rain for a little bit and then it's gone So I'm gonna keep going get to pick up all my tools so they get wet My little helper today been electrical I did this all by myself She did <laughs> Well, The cable part anyway we got three new solar panels with new cabling so we have to rewire and do that so we are good to go because our old solar panels I don't um, I'm not I'm pretty sure you've seen by now that we lost one of the panels in a crosswind when we were going through Montana so since we only had two we left them installed in our son's van so he can have some solar panels and then we just went ahead and bought these um, because we need three for sure. So we bought the kit and um, yeah. So this is the last step before we actually get cleaning and putting our things back in the boat. Now it's all clean, 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 wax and we're good to go. Mm, mm, Key West, here we come. Ah, uh, ah, uh, again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, part two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's how I dance. Yeah. And, um, yeah, our app is working. So, charging our batteries, good to go. Yeah, and it's pretty cloudy, so. It's yeah, it's good. pretty dark. It's gonna be some sun maybe coming through in a little bit, but hello, Florida. <laughs> I can't wait to clean. <laughs> oh, I'm itchy to clean. Yep. But step by step. Now that all the internals are done, now tomorrow we can come in and start cleaning. <laughs> so a little summary of everything that we had to do. We had to do the um, solar. We had to rewire uh, the solar panels. We also had to we also had to do the wind the wind generator. So we rewired that one and installed the new one. We also That was a um, whole fiasco by itself too with the whole pole and everything and getting a new bit or a new adapter. I know, yeah. And um, we fixed the uh, bilge pump because that had broken in one of our passages and we took the one from the shower in the head um so we fixed the one in the bilge and the one in the shower uh we painted the bilge cleaned it it needed to be cleaned so bad um we cleaned the entire bilge lockers the changed the oil we did the stuffing box and you did something else by the engine oh the raw water through hole the raw water through hole. it was it was frozen yep and so we were able to dislodge that one um we unlocked the anchor because it locked up on us on the way here uh, the list gets so long sometimes we forget where we're at we on. have everything on the computer so every night we get super excited to pull up the computer and see what we completed we only have like five or thing, six things to do mainly lines um, some lines we have to replace and obviously clean and start organizing everything so we can be there so I think that within three more days worth of work and we can splash whoop whoop <laughs> can't wait now i get to do one of my favorite things which is zip tie stuff up 
I gotta zip tie up all these wires so they don't look so ungodly. Yeah. Another thing we did when we put these up is we put them back a little bit because uh, they were sticking out all the way back to here. So when you were getting in and out of the, tr when you're on the transom, uh, normally we get off and off on the side or disembark and load on the side. But at nighttime, I like to lift the dinghy up and lock it. Yeah. But uh, I was always catching my shoulder on these. So now they are a little bit yeah. back, further back, and I don't have to worry about it. So I have more space. So no more banging my head and shoulders and getting cuts. Oh, I'm so excited to be in the water again. <sighs> I know. I can't <sighs> wait to get away from this tree. I know, right? It's like we just washed it and it looks like we haven't even yeah. touched the boat now. Yeah. Every morning we come in and we get a fresh new pack. <laughs> oh well. Yep. All right. Just do it. Yep. And do it. And do it. And do it. All right. So here's our. <laughs> Our old one that is literally falling to pieces, it just disintegrated when I was trying to take it off. And then we have our new one. Ta-da! Handy dandy little fuel vent. Why am I crying like a big baby here? <laughs> because you start getting hurting hurting yourself early enough. Like, come on, man. Like, does it have to happen in a spot where I use my hand repetitively? So, yeah, taking that hose off when it's shattered kind of jabbed the screwdriver right through my hand. So, yeah, we're going to clean it up, put some antiseptic on it, and uh, keep working. And I'm going to have me a bright, colorful little neon badge of courage here. <laughs> My prize, ladies. Uh, so now we can get back to work. <laughs> Thank you, my love. So a quick tip on how we do our running rigging. Uh, we are going to, uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned, like I said, from our friend Randy when we were getting his boat ready uh, to deliver from St. Pete down into the Okeechobee Waterways in the storage yard down there. So here's a quick little tip on how we do it. Um, I learned this from watching him do his messenger lines and this way I can't mess up how it actually goes through all the pulleys. So I can get it all perfectly right and the ups and downs and which block it goes through and everything. So this should be pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you how I do it because I didn't even know how to do it and I have always tried to run it the hard way. So. This way is a lot easier, and uh, hopefully it'll work the first time through when I show you. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take both lines. I already um, took out all the knots um, that we had that led back to the uh, uh, main spindle and everything like that so that we would be able to, for the winch. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, so that when it goes through the pulleys, it goes through nice and neat and easy. So as it goes through every block. So what basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take both of these lines and uh, duct tape them together. Because you know what? On um, pretty much on working on cars, vans, everything. If you can't fix it, duck it. So let's just start with this. Let's go ahead and wrap it around. Start. Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to start wrapping it. So here we go, pretty easy, holds together pretty well. Um, obviously this won't work if I have to pull it over something and I have to really yank on it, it may come apart. I would probably wrap it a little bit further up, but since I'm just pulling it through the blocks here on the main on the boom, I'm not too worried about it. So let's, um, let's see how this works and let's start pulling it through. So I'm gonna start pulling from the block way back here. And then hopefully I'll be able to pull it all the way through. And let's see what happens.
Goes down through that block. Up through that block. All right, so we're all done. Tied it off. Put everything exactly back the way that it was. All the way down and around and through. And back down. All the way back down to the main winch. So perfect. Super easy. Super, super fast. And um, I can't get anything confused because sometimes when you pull something out of a pulley, even if you took a picture, you're trying to look back through the picture and be like, okay, that went through here and that went. And then if you multiply the three and carry the four and divide it by 365.2, yeah, it's it can be way too complicated and it takes way too long. This way, you just tie, uh, duct tape them together, pull them through, boom, one and done. Just that easy. Now I'm going to untie this boom and... Uh, wrap it up and we're good to go then the lane main line and the furling line is all done and it only took me about 20 minutes so quick and easy to do it took longer to drive to the store to go get the line than it did to actually replace it here we go so here's madeline's artwork where she covered up from the uh from the fiberglass work so it turned out all right that is pretty badass i'm not gonna lie Thank you for watching this week's video. I really hope you're still enjoying everything. Keep the comments and questions coming. We'll try to answer them as fast as we're getting them. Um, if you haven't done so, subscribe on YouTube and also make sure that you follow us. And if you really like us, consider becoming a Patreon. The link will be right below. Otherwise, see you next week. Bye.